Generally, the people, the residents, manage Oroville. Oroville and the rest of the world or the universe, if you like, is not so much managed, but is sustained by some sort of unseen higher power, which in Oroville we do refer to as the divine force or the mother's force. Uh, but this power can only act through the hearts, heads and hands of human being. So it is us Aurevillians who live here and friends of Auroville who have supported this experiment. They are the ones who are lead and manage Auroville. Auroville is not managed by any one person in particular. Uh, it's managed by the residents themselves, organized into different groups, different committees to manage different aspects, uh, sectors of Oroville. Um, in most cases, uh, it's the residents who nominate themselves or nominated by others uh, and selected to serve in these roles or in these groups to help in the functioning of Oroville. Um, so, I mean, since the very early years of Oroville, um, the community has always sort of worked with very participatory forms of decision-making, deliberative decision-making, decision-making around uh, consensus. So in the earlier years, it was big meetings where all community members would gather around any topic of interest to the community. But as the community got bigger uh, over time, there were sort of specialized uh, groups of community members that were formed in order to take up uh, specific areas of administration or management of the community. So for example, there's a group that takes care of uh, funds and assets management, a group that takes care of um, interrelationships with the Indian government and the surrounding. So really different areas, different sectors, a forest group, a farm group. Um, and these groups are constituted always of Oravillian community members. They might be selected by the community or representatives of various sectors. So there's not really one way that Oroville is managed or one type of body that manages it. It's still um, very anarchic um, in, in a lot of ways. I think we do our best to organize ourselves in different working groups looking at different areas. But uh, yeah, I think quite honestly, Oroville is just organized by the grace that is in Oroville. Because, I mean, yeah, that we exist in spite of ourselves. So.